Well, I guess I'm always impressed by Lord Stern. I mean, uh, when you actually get a mainline economist who's been the chief economist for the World Bank and then the chief economist for the British government, uh, to take on this issue in the way he's done. I think what he's done is taken the whole climate issue and made it legitimate in traditional economic terms so that he's now created a row in the economics profession. When he, reduced, when he produced the report, the report, if you don't know about it, was basically commissioned by Gordon Brown, uh, who was then the Chancellor of the Exchequer. And the idea was to go out and figure out what the economic costs and benefits of climate change would be and how do you fix it, how do you clean it up. And he produced a report that essentially says it could cost us up to 5 to 20 percent of world GDP if we don't deal with it. And it will only cost us about one-half to one percent of world GDP to deal with the exercise. That caused a huge row amongst the economists. They attacked him for having got the discount rate wrong. They told him he hadn't used the right methodology, etc. And he kind of hunkered down, and he's now basically been writing steadily for the last year for other economists, for other people interested in the market, essentially explaining why he said what he said and defending his methodology. And we now have, in the economics profession, a kind of school of thought that's actually much more open to this kind of argumentation than it was before. How do you take the market and get the market to get us out of the mess we're in on climate change with the appropriate mix of government policies? And he did it again this morning. He did it very modestly, and he did it extremely well. And I think it's a real breakthrough. I think we've now got a kind of playing field for these guys in the carbon market to go much beyond where they've been before. This, we're now into a period in which we have no more than 10 years to begin to reverse the current uh, emissions profile for carbon, for carbon dioxide production. The markets are going to have to do it but they're going to need public policy help. And I think, I think Nick Stern has shown us how to do that.